scientific investigation in biology. A question in biology can be explained through a systematic method called scientific investigation. Scientific investigation proves the validity of a hypothesis that has been made. Let's have a look at the eight steps in a scientific investigation. To demonstrate the steps, we will use an experiment to study the effects of an activity on a pupil's pulse rate as the example. The first step is to identify the problems that can be tested using a scientific investigation. In other words, to identify the problem statement. The problem statement for this experiment is what is the effect of a vigorous activity on the pupil's pulse rate? Problem statement should link the manipulated variable and responding variable in a question form. Second step is forming a hypothesis. Hypothesis is like the initial guess of the observation. Hypothesis for this experiment is the pupil's pulse rate increases after a vigorous activity. Third step is identifying and controlling variables and data collection method. Manipulated, responding and fixed or constant variable must be identified. This experiment involves comparing the pulse rate of pupil during rest and after pupil undergone an exercise. So, the manipulated variable is the activity done by pupil, responding variable is the pupil's pulse rate and fixed variable is the pupil. After that, a proper planning is required. This is when the materials and apparatus as well as procedures are written. Material and apparatus for this experiment are pupil and stopwatch. Let's have a look at the procedure. The experiment begins with placing a student at a rest position. Then, the pulse is counted by placing two fingers on the wrist. The pupil is then asked to carry out a vigorous activity for three minutes. After the vigorous activity is carried out, the pupil's pulse is counted again for one minute. And then, the results are recorded in the following table. For the table, make sure you have the correct columns and rows. And this is the fifth step, which is data collection. And the sixth step is the data and result interpretation through scientific reasoning. This is when you use the theory learned in class uh, and interpret your data. In this experiment, we may discuss that the pulse rate increases after doing a vigorous activity due to the higher respiration rate by the cells. A detailed discussion is required in your report. Step 7 is forming conclusion. Based on the data interpretation, conclusion can be made. In this experiment, we can conclude that the hypothesis is accepted. The pupil's heart rate is higher after a vigorous activity compared to at rest. Finally, the last step is writing a report. After you have completed the experiment, you need to write a report to prove that you have conducted the experiment. If a report is not written, your experiment will be invalid.